live from Jitex Technology Week 2021. I am Rabab Zehra from TechX Media and I have Sharif Suleiman who is who is Chief Revenue Officer of Safe Security. I have just met him and he is a very energetic person. So I hope I'm going to get some good answers from him uh, of, uh, of our questions. So let's welcome Sharif. Hi Sharif. It's How a pleasure Rabab. Thank you for having me. Same here. So, Sharif, let's start with, given your recent entry into Middle East and Africa region, as you have just entered, please uh, give us an overview of your footprint in the region, where, where are your offices located, what are you doing in the region? Uh, you know, thank you, Rabab, for hosting me here. Uh, let me first start uh, by saying how delighted I am to get the chance to get back to, um, you know, this realm of a human connection. We've been kind of hiding for the past couple of years uh, in our homes, in our offices. Uh, and although, you know, we continue to see prosperity and economic growth because technology kind of has stepped up, but nothing actually takes the place of the ability to do this. So I'm excited to be here and excited to see you again. Definitely. Uh, with respect to safe security, we're, um, you know, as you already probably know, um, we're a startup uh, kind of located in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto, uh, backed up by uh, British Telecom, uh, John Chambers and other lumina luminary investors. We're focused on uh, cyber risk quantification and um, at the end of the day, uh, the company has actually a very strong heritage with very solid presence in Americas uh, and in Asia Pacific. Uh, our entry in EMEA is actually two months uh, old uh, and we actually started by building out the Middle East first. We have invested significantly here in Dubai to start, um, you know, by having a core team that's focused on on the Middle East and the Africa region. And based obviously on our success, we'll be expanding into having local footprint in, in, in many countries, many luminary countries here. Um, at, at the heart of what we're doing is changing the mindset. And what's that mindset today uh, when we really take a look at the way organizations have been digitally inclined? Uh, McKinsey estimates that there's been about five to seven year worth of digital acceleration. Organizations have actually, uh, uh, you know, have experienced on the front end and the back end of, uh, you know, of, of, you know, of their systems and, and the way they're kind of structured. Uh, with that comes incredible amount of risk. When you're sitting squarely at the heart of the internet, your people are working from different places, from different devices and locations and networks that you don't control. Your third party relationships, your supply chain is digitizing and yeah. the way you do business with them has changed and you're exchanging a lot of information. Uh, your cybersecurity stack is, is transforming. Your technology stack is, is kind of uprooted from the data center and is in hodgepodge of networks, you know, public cloud computing as well as SaaS and networks. Your policies and procedures are trying to keep up. All these kind of, you know, moving parts of an organization, you know, directly um, contribute to your risk posture. So um, SAFE is about ha delivering a SaaS platform that aggregates information about people, processes, and technology, and your cybersecurity stack in real time, in a dynamic and continuous way, marrying that information with uh, threat intel data as well as uh, breach data uh, that is more centered around your geography, industry, and size to come up with your prediction of breach. So we give you a score. This score is for every atomic level of your organization. So every person, every piece of technology, an endpoint, a server, an app, every policy, every process, get scored based on the reality of what you're doing, all the data from the many tools that you have deployed, marrying that with real-time threat intel dynamic data and breach data to come up with that breach likelihood. So in the, in the industry today, we've gone beyond the protection, we moved to detection, and now what SAFE is doing is going to the prediction. And from that perspective, when we bubble all this information up, it's actually delivered to risk and cybersecurity executives in, um, in an insightful way, enabling you to understand your risk posture, which risks you must 
mitigate which ones you can accept and which ones you may be able to transfer via outsourced contracts or cyber insurance. And if we really do that very well, then we fundamentally are giving organizations you know, the ability to surgically make effective business decisions by marrying risk in real time and having the ability to evaluate where you need to spend your money, your focus, um, and your effort rather than the guesswork and the shooting in the dark that's happening today, which is leading to the vicious cycle of the more I spend, the more I get breached, what's going on. That's, that's really, really interesting. So with all this change happening, uh, what kind of potential do you see in this uh, part of the world, in this region, for cybersecurity solutions? And how are you going to capitalize on those um, opportunities that this changing market has created? You know, very well asked. So today, when we take a look at the Middle East um, specifically, it's not a secret that is uh, entrenched with a lot of geo geopolitical conflicts. And these geopolitical conflicts manifest themselves in all kinds of cyber you know, yeah. crime and, and, and cyber extortion. Right. And having said that, um, you know, we are focused on uh, organizations that have, you know, that, that's sitting clearly in the regulated sector. So when you take a look at healthcare, insurance, and the financial sectors, those are highly regulated with lots of disruption and, and fines should these organizations obviously experience, you know, disruption. The other area is anything that's kind of manufacturing, uh, where if you were to lose data, um, you know, that would be really, really meaningful. Imagine if Aramco um, or Sabic, you know, was to really lose uh, some intellectual property about their uh, chemical processing or their kind of energy, uh, you know, intellectual pro property uh, governing their, you know, manufacturing of energy, right? Um, that would be disruptive. The other area is, is mission critical infrastructure, like utilities. Imagine if DIWA was to really go down what would really happen um, on the OT side and the IT side. Imagine if um, the airports or the airlines were to go down, create a massive disruption. This is a very dynamic part of the world. And from that perspective, we're focusing on these sectors. Um, now, how do we really, how are we planning to drive the change? We have really um, a, a go-to market that's kind of underpinned by five pillars. The very first one is partnering with the consultants. Okay, who are these consultants? These are the kind of global and regional organizations that are writing the digital blueprints. You know, uh, Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, and others right. uh, that fundamentally are uh, talking to you know organizations about how they can transform. And these organizations understand how risk needs to be modeled in that transformation. The other pillar is the. Uh, global systems integrators. Those are the Orange, the um, Infosys, the um, Tech Mahindra, and, and others that fundamentally are implementing these group programs. The third one is the managed service providers, the Itisalats, the Do's, um, STCS, and so on, that fundamentally um, can be an alternative to how organizations deploy uh, you know, uh, risk assessment and risk mitigation solutions they they don't have the uh, people they don't have the resources they may want to just get it the fourth one is the cybersecurity specialized VARs you know these are like the um, many of the um, resellers that are not just selling the products but they're selling the know-how as well and the fifth one is the alliances this is where we're partnering with other vendors like the VMware's the Palo Alto's and others to say hey um, with what we do and you know in kind of helping organizations know in real time the risk we're like that triage you know we're that nurse mm -hmm. we're that mri that's doing all these scans and then you know the palo altos and the vmwares they're the doctors they have the pills and the medicines and mm -hmm. and they can sell and focus in a very well defined and targeted manner addressing those risks as opposed to just saying oh we need everything yeah. so that's kind of what we're doing at Jitex here, uh, we're using this as a platform to launch our mission, which is all around creating a safer digital future 
you know, for organizations and for people, um, and pretty much um, seeking the the avenues, partnering with organizations like you mm. to help drive the mindset change uh, and start getting really um, CRQ, cyber risk quantification, as um, you know, as a necessary um, uh, tools and as a necessary uh, frameworks to adopt so we can fundamentally bridge the gap between yeah. the more we spend, the more we get reached. And obviously, we're signing few partnerships uh, at Jitex uh, with distribution and key uh, cybersecurity vendors as well as um, launch our you know, partner program. Right, very, very well said. So we are sitting at Jitex at the moment. You have uh, told a little about it. Um, this is, I believe, your first time at Jitex. So uh, what are you showcasing particularly and what will be your takeaways from the event after uh, these five days? Yeah, I mean, um, as, as a technology leader and cybersecurity leader, I, I've been at Jitex for more than 15 years mm -hmm. and I've supported Jitex in, in, in many ways. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was leading other you know, uh, organizations like you know Cisco and, and Infoblox, this is our no, first time as safe. This is your first yes, time. Yeah. Um, we always look at Jidex mm. as um, a platinum mm. platform uh, to create awareness yeah. about all the new things, uh, to meet uh, like-minded people, seek and foster partnerships uh, that fundamentally can change. Um, our, uh, our trajectory here in the region. If you really take a look, um, the past 15 years in Jitex, we've seen um, that as a platform for introducing new disruptive technologies, new disruptive partnerships. SAFE is in, in a place where it has something, you know, very unique to offer. Um, we want a platform to be heard, mm -hmm. uh, and we want a platform uh, to partner with like-minded people, and that's exactly what we look to get out of that. We have a very rich agenda mm. in the next few days, and we look forward to uh, executing on that. Um, and back at the heart of it for me, I am absolutely delighted to be back here yeah. uh, after two years um, where yeah. the world has changed, yeah. to come back to some, although things will never be normal, um, being here uh, for me is, um, is that, you know, getting back to what it is to be human and true. what to be a, a professional in the technology sector. Very true, very true. Thank you so much, Shari, for being here with us and for such a good um, uh, conversation, such an energetic conversation. Thank you so much for being here and we hope to have you again with TechX. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much for hosting me. And uh, for those uh, risk and cybersecurity executives out there, please pay attention to cyber risk quantification. It is a you know, foundational uh, approach and mindset and, and tools that fundamentally can help um, you know bridge that gap uh, stay tuned for a lot more what safe is gonna do thank you so much uh, yes. for hosting me and Rabab it's a pleasure you must listen to what Sharif is saying as and stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Jitex Technology Week 2021 goodbye thank you